Joe and his neighbor were very close friends. They had grown up as boys together. They had married, and they raised their families at, at the same time, and all their children had gone. Their children had already gone, and their wives had passed on. So Joe and his neighbor were left alone, but they were real, real close. So Joe was over at his neighbor's house one day, and the neighbor said, I want you to see my calf. He said, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see your calf, Joe said. Well, the neighbor carried him out to the barn, and there was the prettiest little calf you ever did see. And the neighbor said, there, how you like my calf? Well, Joe said, I think that's my calf. No, said the neighbor, that's calf's in my barn. It's my calf. Yeah, but it's got the exact markings of my cow. It, my calf neighbor. No, no, Joe, it's, it's not your calf. It's mine. So they just got to arguing back and forth. They both got mad. So Joe just went home. Well, they, they wouldn't speak to each other there for several days. And one morning, just as Joe had got up, he heard a knock on the door. He went to the door, and he opened it, and there stood a young man with a carpenter's toolbox balanced on his shoulder. He said, may I help you, young man? He said, yes. He said, I'm a carpenter, and I'm looking for work. Uh, do you have any work that I could do around the farm here? Well, Joe, he didn't really know. He said, well, I'd like to get acquainted with this young man. And he thought, well, well see, uh, come right on in. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I just had started to fix a bite of breakfast, so if you would like, I would uh, scramble you up an egg, and we'll we'll just uh, have us a breakfast here and talk a little bit. So Joe did. He fixed a fine breakfast. The young man, he ate heartily, you know. Had good old fresh slab bacon and uh, had good old molasses, and even had some of my canned biscuits. He'd pop top of a can of them Pillsbury canned biscuits. And I tell you what, that, that young man really went to town on that food. Well, Joe had talked to him enough, and he kind of liked the young man, so I, he said, I tell you what, uh, I've had a lot of trouble with my neighbor. He told uh, about the trouble they got into about the calf. He said, and you know what he did? He took his bulldozer, and he turned the creek where it runs right between our house. It used to be a little small branch, but now it's, he's flooded it with a creek. And and I'm just going to build a little wall between my neighbor's farm and mine. And that's what I can get you to do for me today. Now, I've got to go be gone all day about it. I've got to go I set up a produce stand, and I'll be gone all day. But I've got plenty of lumber here behind the barn. And uh, you've got your tools there, so I just want you to build me a, a wall. I want it so high that I can't even see my neighbor or his farm. And he went on explaining to the carpenter about why he needed it. And the, he said, now you understand what I want now, don't you, son? He said, yeah, I understand, Joe. I know exactly what you need. So you just go on to set up your stand, and I'll have it done when you get back tonight. So Joe did. He got in his old pickup and went off down the road to set up his uh, produce stand beside the main road. Well, about sundown, Joe came back home. And uh, he said, well, I wonder if uh, the carpenter's still around. So he called him. And sure enough, the carpenter answered him and said, I'm, I'm around here, Joe. Come on around. So Joe went on around. He asked the carpenter, did you get what I want you to do done? He said, yeah, I got exactly what you need, Joe. So just come on down here. So the carpenter led him down a little closer to the creek. And uh, Joe looked up, and he said, well, where's the wall? And uh, the carpenter said, Joe, I built you a bridge. A bridge? I didn't ask you to build a bridge. I hired you to build me a wall. He said, well, I told you I would build you exactly what you needed. So, well, he was getting kind of angry at the carpenter about that but he looked up and he saw his neighbor coming across the bridge with his arms wide open and toward him so, and he just met him about halfway across the bridge his neighbor said joe i'm so sorry he said i've been wanting to do something to make up with you and i'm glad you took the first step i'm so glad you built this bridge 
because I really miss talking to you every day and miss being your friend. So I'm so sorry. I tell you what, Joe, you can even have that little calf. Uh, it's, it's your calf. No, Joe said, no, that's, that's your calf, neighbor. I, I, you can have it. So they, they finally decided, well, they, let's, they'd be both of them's calf. So then they looked around. They, the carpenter was getting his uh, tools ready and everything, getting ready to go. Of course, Joe, he, he paid him for his work. And they told him, said, well, now, Mr. Carpenter said, you're such a good craftsman. There's plenty of work around that we could hire you to do. Even our neighbors might want you to do some carpenter work for them. Why don't you just stay around a while and uh, work around here, and uh, we'll be glad to pay you good. And the carpenter said, no, I've got to go on. I've got more bridges to build.